most of the best CPUs in 2025 are from AMD. However, they have so many options that some of them are actually not as great. That's why today I will be ranking the best and worst CPUs from AMD that you can buy right now. And I will be recommending different CPUs for different budget and needs. The link for the best CPUs from AMD for every budget will be down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability. And before I start, I want to make a criteria here. Now, this list, of course, is not going to be 100% objective. Some people have different opinions and I will consider performance overall, meaning that I will consider gaming performance, content creation performance, price of performance, and the purpose of the CPU. So you may see CPUs that are on paper faster than others, but because pricing is way higher, it might be ranked lower, if that makes sense. And also, if you do not see a CPU here, it's because I do not recommend it buying it for a brand new system or if you want to operate your computer. Meaning that, for example, a Ryzen 9 5900X would not be recommended to buy a brand new, but if you already have a Ryzen 9 5900X, that's completely fine and it doesn't mean that it's a bad CPU. My name is Valentino. That being said, let's start. Now, with the first CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5500. You can also see the latest pricing by the time of filming down in the bottom left of each CPU. Now, this one is going for 80 bucks at the moment, and I do think that it's an okay CPU. Now, it's very decent when it comes to price performance if you are on a very tight budget, but for most people, I would at least try to get the Ryzen 5 5600 instead if you are on the AM4 platform already. So if you have a very tight budget, this CPU is actually pretty decent. And if you pair it with a GPU like the RX 6600, it's going to be completely fine. But for most people, I would recommend going with at least a Ryzen 5 5600 for today's games and most graphics cards. That's why it's an okay CPU in my opinion. Now the Ryzen 5 5600, on the other hand, I believe it's good value. It is quite faster than the Ryzen 5 5500 and you will be able to feed more GPUs to pair with this Ryzen 5 processor. Now, at the moment, it's going for 125 bucks and that's why it's going to be in the OK CPU tier just because the Ryzen 5 5600X is slightly faster and it's actually cheaper at the moment. So this one is going into my good value tier. So if you're looking for a gaming PC and you are working with a tight budget and you are already on the AM4 platform, then this CPU is still, in my opinion, one of the best mid-range to budget CPUs in the entire market. Now, the Ryzen 7 5700X is also a really good processor if you already have a CPU that's on the AM4 platform. Let's say you have a Ryzen 5 5500 or a Ryzen 5 3600 and you're looking for an upgrade because maybe you want to upgrade your graphics card as well, or you are just looking for faster performance in CPU demanding games. Well, the Ryzen 7 5700X is going for 150 bucks, which is actually a good price. So for that reason, it's going into my good value tier as well, next to the Ryzen 5 5600X. Again, this is only if you are on the AM4 platform, meaning that if you are building a brand new PC, I would recommend a different CPU instead, and I will get to that in just a second. The Ryzen 7 5700X3D is the fastest CPU from the AM4 platform, meaning that if you have, for example, a Ryzen 5 5600 or a Ryzen 5 3600 and you're looking for an upgrade, this is going to be the fastest CPU that you can get. And I do think that it's a very strong CPU, but at this price point for 230 bucks, I would highly consider switching to AM5 and having a more upgradable system over time. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to buy a new motherboard, a new DDR5 memory kit, I completely understand that. And in that case, this is going to be the fastest CPU that you can get in that platform. For that reason, in my opinion, it's actually a good value CPU, not as good as the 5700X or 5600X, and it's not going into my OK CPU list because it's actually quite fast. So that's why I'm going to keep it right there for now. Now, the Ryzen 7 5800X is not as good value as the 5700X because the 5800X is actually about the same as the 5700X in terms of gaming performance and the power consumption is quite high. So the 5700X is going to be a much better option if you're thinking to upgrade instead of the 5800X. For that reason, it's going into my don't buy but tier meaning that i wouldn't recommend you buying it but it's not a bad cpu so if you already have a 5800x there's no need to upgrade for most people let's get into am5 now and the first one is the ryzen 5 7500f now this is the first cpu going into my top tier 
And the reason why is because of its price point, 125 bucks, it performs very similarly compared to the Ryzen 5 7600 or Ryzen 7 5700X 3D. So for around $80 less or even more, you are getting about the same level of performance. Now there's one caveat to this, and that is that you can only get this CPU through AliExpress at this price point. So if you want to buy from a US reseller like Amazon or Best Buy, then you must buy the next CPU, which is the Ryzen 5 7600 or 7600 X. That one is quite more expensive, but it's slightly faster and it comes already with a CPU cooler already. So if you don't want to buy an aftermarket CPU cooler, then these are perfect as well. Now, an aftermarket CPU cooler is going to cost you about 15 to 20 bucks. So even if you get the 7500F, and you get a CPU cooler that's around 20 USD, is still going to be better value. But again, not everyone wants to buy from AliExpress and I completely understand that. So if you want to buy from the US market, the 7600 and 7600 X are, in my opinion, amazing value as well. In fact, they are both going into my good value tier. Well, the 7600 X is recommended right now over the 7600 because it's basically the same price and it's slightly faster. But honestly, get the one that's cheaper by the time that you're watching this. And remember that you will find my favorite CPUs for every budget from AMD down in the video description with the latest prices and availability. With the next one, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 96 and with X, which is supposed to be the newer and better CPU compared to the 76 and with X. However, this one is not as good in terms of value because it's going for 245 bucks and yes it's slightly faster on the 7600x but let's be honest here you will not notice the difference when playing any game and sure it's slightly more power efficient but i really don't see the point of spending almost 50 bucks more for basically the same cpu for that reason it's going into my okay cpu tier it's a really good cpu don't get me wrong in terms of performance it's amazing but again, do you want to buy it over the 7600X? For most people, I don't think so. Then for about 300 USD, you can get Ryzen 7 CPUs in the Ryzen 7 7700, 7700X, or even 9700X, which I will be talking about in a moment. Now, the Ryzen 7 7700 is very power efficient. It has A cores, which might be beneficial to you. Now for gaming, A cores is not going to make a difference for most games. However, if you are doing something like content creation or productivity work, having A cores might be, once again, beneficial depending on the exact program that you're using. Now the 7700 and 7700X are great CPUs, amazing. But right now the 9700X is going for about the same price as both of these CPUs. It's just slightly more expensive, around 70 USD more than the 7700, so basically within the same price range. And the 9700X is slightly faster than both the 7700 and 7700X for both gaming and content creation, and it's also more power efficient. So for just 17 USD more, I think that the 9700X is going into my good value tier, while the 7700 and 7700X are going into my don't buy bad tier, meaning that I wouldn't recommend you buying them, but they are great CPUs. The only reason why I wouldn't recommend them is because the 9700X is about the same price. And then the same thing is going to happen with the Ryzen 9 CPUs. Sure, the Ryzen 9 7900, 7900X and 7950X are great CPUs, but the price difference between these and the 9000 series CPUs is not really that much. So for that reason, the 9000 series CPUs are going to be my recommendation if you want to buy a Ryzen 9. Now, I wouldn't recommend you buying a Ryzen 9 if you just want to do gaming, but if you are a content creator who also wants to do gaming, or maybe you just want to do content creation only, a Ryzen 9 9900X or 9950X are actually going to be top tier processors. Again, if you just want to do gaming, they are going to perform very similarly to Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 CPUs. So just because you see Ryzen 9, it doesn't mean that it's going to be faster for gaming, but it is going to be faster for content creation and productivity work. So that's why the Ryzen 9 7000 are going to be in the don't buy but tier because do not buy them. If you're going to buy a brand new system, buy the 9000 series instead, but they are great CPUs. And if you already have a Ryzen 9 7950X, for example, trust me, you don't need to upgrade to the 9000 series. So the 9000 series are going to be in my top tier list. In terms of pricing, they are not going to be top tier, but in terms of overall performance, these are some of the fastest CPUs in the market overall. For that reason, it is going to be in my top tier. 
Now, the 9900X is not as fast as the 9950X, but it is going to be quite cheaper, and that's why it's going into my good value tier compared to the 9950X, but it is not going to be in my top tier list because it's just not the best of the best. Now, if you want to do mainly gaming, we have the X3D processors in the Ryzen 7 7800X3D and 9800X3D. And just like before, pricing is very similar. For that reason, get the 9800X3D if you want the fastest CPU in the market for gaming. And that's why at this price point for 450 or 480, I will say do not buy the 7800X3D, but it is one of the fastest CPUs in the market. So if the 7800X3D is the only one in stock and you want a CPU right now, you can go ahead and buy one. But if you see the 9800X3D in stock for 480, which right now is 480 and in stock, then, then I recommend you buying the 9800X3D, which is going into my top tier as well, because it's the fastest CPU for gaming in the entire market. Now, it's not going to be the best value one. So if you are looking for something better in terms of price to performance, something like a Ryzen 7 97 with X right here it's going to be much better because it's quite cheaper and it's going to provide very similar gaming performance especially if you play at 1440p or 4k resolution so even though the 9800 3d is top tier it's not for everyone and it's only for those people who need every fps out of fortnite 1080p competitive settings for example now the ryzen 8000 series this is going to my do not buy tier. And these are the only CPUs that I would say do not buy right now. If you see something like the Ryzen 5 8400F or Ryzen 7 8700F, do not buy these CPUs. They are actually quite bad in terms of price performance. I would highly recommend you buying a Ryzen 5 7500F instead if you are searching for a CPU at that price point or a Ryzen 5 7600X. Let me know what you think and of course, this is going to be quite subjective. Some people are going to disagree. I always have plenty of haters in these type of videos, but I honestly don't care. I'm interested to see your tier list in the comment section. And if you're looking for personal PC help, you can find my personal one-on-one -on -one PC help from the top link in the description. And remember, you will have the best CPUs from AMD down below as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.